Can you please tell me the story of the Goose Girl? Okay, so it starts where a princess is going to marry a prince. So, her mother gives her a cloth where her mother's blood is. Yeah. <coughs> sends her with a a a, a maid. And um the maid Okay. Yeah. So In a carriage. Who Falawa was riding? No, no, was you know. carrying something, pulling. said that she was thirsty so they stopped at a brook so the the princess got her special cup and then got some water and drank and went and then they went on the princess then said she was hungry. So they got food. Then the maid, she wanted to be the princess. So she, yeah. So she made the princess switch their uh, their their outfits, their shirts. Yeah. And then they carried on the journey until they got to the castle of the prince. And the and the fake princess bride or the or the maid. Was put was an um was went to the prince and the 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 princess. was going to become a goose girl but still the maid the maid the 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 maid or the fake princess wanted the horse's head to get cut off because because she knew that Falala heard um uh, her, heard what the maid did. And then the king ordered that that the princess was to become a goose girl with curd can. On the first day, um, the princess saw Falala's, Falala's head on a gate and 
Falana said. If your mother knew, her heart would break into two. His Falala said the princess. Then they went to where the geese were. And then she untied her hair, which was so gold, which was golden, the curtain wanted a piece. But um, the the princess or the goose girl sang, "Wind, wind, blow away Curdken's hat, until I make my hair into a crown." So the hat was blown away, and Curdken had to catch it. By the time Curdkin got back, the goose girl already finished her hair. And then they took care of the geese and then they went home. The next day, the same thing happened. The gate. At the gate. Falala was still there. And then Falala then said, If your heart, if your, if your mother knew, her heart would surely break into two. Tis Falala, said the goosey girl. And they went to where the geese were again. And of course, the goose girl untied her hair. And Kurt still wanted a piece of it. So he was going to pull one when the goose girl said, Wind wind, blow away Kurt's hat until, my, until I make my, my hair into a crown. So it was blown away. Curtin had to catch it again. By the time he got back, the goose girl had already finished tying her hair into a crowd. The next day, Curtin told the king about it. So, the king followed the goose girl and Curtin to the geese. He saw the gate thing, like the, the, this. He also saw this. If your mother knew, her heart could surely break into two. Tis Falala, even, the, even that's what he saw. And then they, he got to the geese. And she she untied her hair when Kurt and Kurt can still wanted a piece, but his hair hat was blown away because of the song of the goose girl. He had to catch it, and at the time he went, he came back. She already had finished tying her hair into a crown. The king asked the goose girl why she was doing this. But the goose girl didn't want to tell the king. Then the king said, Okay, tell, tell your difficulties to this oven. And he went 
away. And he said that's what my goose throat thought. He didn't go away. He hid behind something. He hid behind the stone. And was hearing the, the goose girl say, My, my maid, my maid, um, and me change. Changed outfits, and now she's the princess. The 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 king heard this and went to the prince, who was in the chamber, and said, "That girl is not her bride." Bride's maid. So the maid was killed. Yeah, the maid was killed, and the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. Yeah.